Nico de Boinville has got the first winner of the 2020 Cheltenham Festival, and that was on Shiskin, but he was just saying, your heart was in your mouth everywhere. Mm. Talk me through everything that happened, including that full start. Yeah, it was never ideal. These full starts aren't easy to handle. You know, it's very hard to get your posse exactly where you want to be. Um, but anyway, we've got a nice posse, and, but then going down to that downhill hurdle, he's just had a grab at it, and I've landed on all fours, really. Um, and from then on, down the back, you know, it is really hard work down the back. I'd say it's almost on the heavy side. It rode like that on him anyway. 17 seconds above, so that would that would back you up. Right. Um, and, you know, it was just a very rough race going up the hill and round the hill, round the top there. I got shuffled back. Coming, I just tried to switch him out wide just to try and get him travelling and give him a bit of light and give him a bit of, you know, comfort in himself. Um, and then the horse has fallen in front of me and nearly knocked me over. Uh, and then it was just a case of just trying to pick up the pieces and... He is so talented, this horse. Yeah. He's got tremendous gears that he gets you out of an awful lot of trouble. Um, and wherever he goes next season, I think, you know, he's going to be... We might, it might be that we found another really good one, you know? Yeah, so you're basically saying he's done incredibly well to get there, given everything that's happened. I thought he gave it... I thought that was a super run, considering, and that showed a bit of superstar quality. And that he's grown up as well, because he's been a bit keen in his previous two races. He was. I said, I, don't, I didn't think he was travelling that well on that ground today, um, and perhaps in a big field, you know, completely covered, that, um, you know, everything conspired against him today, but he managed to find a way, and that's what champions tend to do. We've seen that with Altio in the past. Exactly. They get themselves out of a hole, and they get their jockey looking a bit better than they probably should do. <laughs> and that was a big blow for you this morning as well, that you had to pick yourself up from without Altio not being able to run. Of course. Look, it's probably been on the cards, and, um, you know, I've... I've the boss has sort of told me gently um, and you know it's just 50 50 and then we saw him trot up this morning and you know it's the horse comes first and you know horse welfare is paramount and um, we've got to look after the great the great boy as he is absolutely this one though dreams ahead of him Nikki was leaning towards maybe going chasing next season what would be your thoughts on that if I'm honest I think he with another summer's grass he'll probably grow another hand and fill out as well so I think it's similar to how Altior was, was. I'm not going to say that he's like Altior, but, um, you know, they sort of make that decision for you over the summer. So I'm sure come September, I expect to see a fuller horse because at the moment he's still quite raw. And even though your nerves were jangling all the way around, getting one on the board, is this a nice settler for an, what's going to have to be an ice cold ride on Pennant Hills? Of course, yeah, you said it yourself. So um, we'll see. I mean, this ground is probably against us and that probably explains the drift, but... Um, yeah, we'll, we're just going to have to wait and see. Many, many congratulations on that ride. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you.